What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be eating at only Asian convenience stores for 24 hours. I recently posted a couple of videos where I went to Mexican, Indian, and Korean convenience stores and I ate there for 24 hours and you guys absolutely loved those videos. So for today's video, we're gonna go to different Asian convenience stores in my city and we're going to be having some breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. So if you guys are excited for today's video, drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, guys, we arrived to our first destination. It is 99 Ranch. I came here because I know there's a lot of things that I can find. They actually have a bakery inside with a lot of pastries. They also have like their own little cafe, which you guys know it's breakfast time. I need my coffee. So let's go in there and let's see what we get. Got everything for breakfast. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I didn't really find a lot of things in there for breakfast, Bruh. but let me tell you something. They have a hot deli. I was this, this close to saying, forget breakfast. Let me go straight into lunch because it smells so good in there. But anywho, let's go back to the breakfast. I did get a sea salt coffee. Oh. Let me try this before I give you the rest of my haul, just because you know, I don't want it to like water down with the ice and I need to try it now. Now! Oh, there we go. I'm gonna give it a nice mix. <clears throat> Let me cleanse the palate. <clears throat> Woo! Let's try it. There's people next to me, but I don't care. This is so good! You know what? I might just come buy my iced coffee here from now on because this is not good. This is delicious. Like, it's just 11 out of 10. We have other coffee drinks that I got. I got this coffee, uh, co coffee, coffee, oh. what? Let me take another sip because apparently I need it. We have a cafe latte. We also have this, which I think it's a sweetened Americano drink. I got this mango flavored cupcake. Also got this sugar donut. <gasps> it was just staring at me. It was like, Peter, try me. And then I also got this hot dog sausage biscuit or something like that. I don't remember what it was called, but it looks fire. Let's try this like hot dog sausage pastry. Let's take a bite. Nice chives, bruh. The bread, guys, it's like so fluffy. The hot dog sausage is so good. The onions that it has has so much flavor. The bread is like sweet almost. And of course, the hot dog sausage is like salty, so it's like a good combo. Wait, I just remember something that I want to talk to you guys about. We need to address something, okay? I think it was in my last video, the one before that. One of the top comments was like, why do you pronounce pizza like that? But I'm just so confused because am I saying it wrong? Let's go get some pizza. Is it pizza? Let's go get some pizza. 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 How do you say it? Let me know because apparently I've been saying it wrong. I grew up saying pizza my whole life. I don't know. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. But then again, English is not my first language. So spell it out for me in the comments. How do you say it so I can know how to pronounce it? But anyways, this sausage pastry is so good. I'm going to take one more bite before we try the donut. I really want to try the donut because it just looks so good, like so sugary, so powdery. Just take a look at this donut. Wow. Look how soft that bread looks. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm. Just like I expected, the bread is so fluffy. It like melts in your mouth. Because it's so soft. I'm gonna cleanse the palate with a little bit more of the sea salt iced coffee. Let's try this mango cupcake. It smells divine, let me tell you that. I'm not really a huge fan of this one, I'll tell you right off the bat. I'm not really feeling it, because I feel like I can, it almost tastes like Hawaiian fruit punch in a cupcake. The taste is too artificial. I do love the consistency of the bread though. Again, it's very soft, very fluffy. It's just the flavor that I'm not a fan of. But now let's try these coffees. Ooh, that's good. Mm, okay, I like this one. I, I like this one. Now let's try this coffee. I believe it's sweet Americano. Oh, it says shake well before drinking. Okay, let me do that. Now let's try it. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Uh, that is 
is definitely not sweetened. I'll tell you that. Overall, I'm gonna rate a breakfast a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely the highlight of today's breakfast was the sea salt coffee. Like, are you joking? This is just so delicioso. I'm going to go run a couple errands and I'll see you guys later for lunch because I am so ready to go check out that hot deli and get some food. It's time for lunch and I came back to 99 Ranch because like I told you, I saw they have a hot deli and I was like, I have to come back and we need to try something from there for lunch because everything just looks so good. I cannot believe I've been here to 99 Ranch plenty of times yet I have never tried anything from the hot deli but today will be the day so let's go in there and let's get some food. Okay, I might have gotten a little overboard with lunch, but the only thing I had for breakfast was the coffee and the pastries. I also got a pina colada. I saw this, it was like right next to the hot deli section as well. So why don't we just try this right off the bat? Let's just try it before we eat. Mmm, woo. Okay, it's really cold. It has actual pieces of pineapple in here. Mmm, oh. Mm, this is what I'm talking about. This just hit the spot. Amazing, amazing. So let me tell you what I picked up. There's the hot deli section. Then there was another section where they had already plates ready to go. And that section, I found chicken teriyaki combo. I mean, now you know why I couldn't pass on this. From that same section, I also found these shrimp dumplings with chili oil. Ooh, my mouth just like watered from the hot deli section i got these the signs there were a little confusing like they were all over the place so i'm not sure if this is chicken or shrimp last but not least i got a combo plate with noodles orange chicken and this chicken with chili sauce oil Ooh. Ah! first let's try these shrimp dumplings with a chili oil here's a close-up Why have I never ate there? Oh, it's nice and spicy. There's also some garlic in here. Now let's try these. Yum! Nope. These are definitely chicken flavor. Don't get me wrong, these are good. But now that I tried the shrimp ones, like it's gonna be so hard to beat the shrimp ones because the shrimp dumplings are fire. Let's try the chicken teriyaki combo. This has rice, chicken barbecue sauce, marinated curd, marinated egg, sour mustard, cabbage, uh, carrot. Uh. We have the chicken, the vegetables, the egg. First, I really want to try this egg. Okay, the egg is not bad. Let's try vegetables with the rice. If I'm correct, the vegetables have sour mustard, which is a little too bitter for me personally, but I do like the white rice. Let's try this teriyaki barbecue chicken. Wow, the chicken really juicy really crispy and that little drizzle of like barbecue sauce that they put on top was like the cherry on top i like the chicken for sure let's try the combo plate that i got first i want to try this chili chicken because it smells like nice and spicy Ooh, that has some really good flavor mm. noodles need a little bit more flavor Let's try this orange chicken though. This orange chicken looks fire. Noodles are lacking flavor, but these two right here, these two sides, on point, on point. Final thoughts on lunch. Although we had some things that I was not a huge fan of, like the noodles that needed a little bit more flavor, I did love the pina colada drink, also the dumplings and these two sides of chicken and the teriyaki chicken that came in the bowl. I absolutely love those. So I'm going to rate lunch a 9 out of 10. I'm going to finish the rest of my orange chicken and I'll see you guys later for a snack. It's time for snack. I found this store. It is called MT Supermarket. I'm craving something salty, crunchy, so maybe we can find some really good chips in there.
quick haul of everything that I got for snack. So I ended up getting these Mexican, oh wait, I didn't even read this. I thought it was just chicken tomato flavor, but it says Mexican chicken tomato flavor. Then I also got these marshmallows, but I actually ended up getting the blueberry ones, Oreo wafers. And I obviously had to get a Bev, so I got this pomegranate drink. It's so cold. This is the first thing that I'm gonna try right away. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Huh? This is fire. Let's go ahead and let's try these Oreo waffers. Ta da! Oreo. This literally tastes like the cookie. I usually don't like Oreos, like I think they're all right. This I can picture myself eating and finishing one of these. Up next, Mexican chicken tomato flavor. Mexican chicken tomato flavor. Like chicken bouillon? Let's try it. Oh, whoa, these are good. If you're a Mexican, you probably know caldo de pollo, like chicken soup. That's what it tastes like. But these ended up being way better than I expected. Now let's try these blueberry marshmallows. Oh, they smell good. Wait. It's not as fluffy. It's not as fluffy as the marshmallows that I'm used to eating. It's more like dense. I also thought this was gonna be liquid and it's like a jelly. Like a very thick jelly, like thicker than jam. No, oh, I love these. My favorite thing that I tried for snacks was definitely these two. Overall, I'm gonna rate snack a 9.5 out of 10. It's time for dinner and I ended up getting a chicken sando, which looks delicious. I also got this new fried shrimp mayo. I also got some sweet potato chips, kimchi, of course. And for the drink, I got this passion fruit green tea. Let's try these sweet potato chips. Ooh, they don't smell that good, but let me show you. That's the sweet potato. I think these are like really healthy chips. They're also very dry, like very powdery. I'm not a huge fan of these. That made me very thirsty. Let's just go ahead and try the passion fruit green tea. Oh, 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 that's good. <laughs> that was really good, it's so refreshing. Let's try, should we do this one first? Or should we try? Let's try this one. Let's try this right here. I always have a hard time opening them. Even though it has instructions, I still struggle so much. This time is perfection. Yes. I'm too excited. Let's take a bite. It has tiny, tiny little shrimp in there. When it said fried shrimp, I thought they were gonna be like big pieces of like an actual fried shrimp. I didn't think it was gonna be like mini, mini, mini pieces of shrimp. <laughs> Let's try it with some kimchi. Oh, the smell of kimchi is just so good. Mm-hmm. Kimchi just makes everything better. See the tiny little shrimps? It's filled in there. If I'm being honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the fried shrimp flavor. I feel like I always usually get like bulgogi or the tuna one. So let's go ahead and let's try the chicken sando. Whoa, look at that. Look at the chicken, the cabbage. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. The bread, super soft. The chicken so good the crunchiness of the cabbage the cabbage is kind of like coated in some sort of like mayo sauce i love the breading that they use for the chicken really good definitely for dinner these two are my top two favorite that i absolutely loved i'm going to rate dinner 8.5 out of 10. now let's go get some dessert Let me show you guys what I got for dessert. 
First of all, I got these, which are Meiji Gummy Choco Green Grape Flavor. Look, I have seen these pretty much everywhere. They usually have them in a red packaging. And then I also got ice cream, which this ice cream looks so good. It's a crispy crunch ice bar. I mean, look how delicious this looks. Got these grape gummies. They're supposed to be very chewy and have some jelly on the inside. And when I saw this, my jaw dropped. I know this is not considered a dessert but i couldn't just leave it at the store i had to give it a try these are sam yang protein puffs chili lemon flavor you already know what's the first thing we're gonna try of course this they don't smell that spicy so let's see <clears throat> oh wait oh what huh? definitely i can taste the lime flavor it's a little spicy but nothing too crazy. Surprisingly, I can't taste the protein flavor in here. Okay, Sam Yang, you surprised me. I was not expecting that. Now let's try these green grape gummy candy. They're super tiny. Aww. No jelly, but these are good. Mmm, I like how they're really chewy. The flavor is like nice and refreshing. Speaking of green grape, let's try these. I am so excited to try these hopefully they do not disappoint me so it's chocolate on the outside but it's green grape flavor on the inside that's interesting hopefully it's good okay love the chocolate flavor really good i can't really taste the grape flavor though Bruh. and i feel like the green grape with the chocolate it's not a good combination like it just doesn't belong together personally that's what i think let's try this crispy crunch ice bar whoa let's bite it Strawberry. Wait a minute. 10 out of 10. This tastes like the strawberry shortcake ice cream, except with like chocolate and peanut butter. Like it's just, it's a 10 out of 10. Like I was not expecting this. Just because of this, I'm going to rate dessert a 10 out of 10. All right, guys, that ice cream was literally like the cherry on top. Such a good way to end the video. Comment down below. What convenience store do you want me to go to next? I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you guys can get notified every single time that I post a new video. Love you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win, I just wanna yeah. win. LAP